Hi, it's Yasmin here. I'm really looking forward to my Hay House event on January 15. One of the things I'm going to show you is how to do a prediction for yourself for the year ahead for 2022, uh, a 12-month prediction, a 12-month forecast using oral cards. But for now, I'm actually going to show you just how to do a really super speedy one using the four quarters, okay? So it's it's quite simple. Give the cards, oh, give the cards a good shuffle. I'm not going to use those cards because there was two of them. If, if, if one card jumps out, I take it. If it's more than one, I don't. So spread your cards out, give them a good shuffle, spread them out. And then doesn't matter which hand you use, really. Uh, left hand if you want to because it's near the heart. Right hand if you want to because it's considered a more sacred hand in lots of Eastern traditions. Uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to go right. So you just take four cards. Okay. One. <laughs> two, three, four, okay? So what we're doing here is getting a real kind of overview of the year ahead. Now, I don't use reverse cards, so if any of these cards are reversed, I'm just gonna turn them the right way around. So before you go, you need to decide what they're all for. So we've got four cards. We know there's 12 months in the year, so it's three months per card. So this is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So this is like the overall feeling for the first three months of the year. Second, third, fourth. So are you ready? Here we go. Ah, interesting. Okay, so the first card that's come up is the last quarter moon in Aquarius with the message, reflect on your priorities. So that's a brilliant card actually to get for January, February, March, because obviously what do we do at the start of a new year? We do, we reflect on our priorities. Okay, so then April, May, June, kind of a similar thing and it's interesting with the astrology leave the past behind it's the uh, last quarter moon in Capricorn and again this actually kind of would you think okay well you know maybe I'm still kind of stuck in 2020 2021 mentality of the whole pandemic and the astrology in 2022 is so much more positive so hopefully this card means you know it's really time to just move past all that so this is July, August, September. So in the Northern Hemisphere, it's summer. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's winter. Nice one. Keep your heart open. The first quarter moon in Libra. Uh, so that, again, you know, if you, get the, if you were doing this for yourself, you would know that summer is going to be a time to really kind of keep your heart open, stay loving, spend time with your family if you can. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's summer. You know, you can always go to the guidebook and get a bit more information. And then the last quarter, see the bigger picture. So whatever's happening in the last quarter of the year, just see the bigger picture. It's the full moon in Sagittarius. It's actually um, a lovely card. I'll just give you a quick reading from that so you can see how you might apply it. So, so the full moon in Sag, look it up and you get the message, well, Find a balance between what needs saying and saying too much. Keep an open mind, be the bigger person. And the affirmation is, I know that I am blessed and I live my life within that knowing. So that's just a really simple spread that you can do. Uh, you could do it every month, actually. You could do a, you know the four weeks of the month, but this is the four quarters of 2022. And uh, if you come to my workshop, on January 15, I'll be delighted to show you how to do a 12-month reading. Uh, links are below and I hope to see you there.